Today on Bee Bear, Corduroy by Don Freeman. Hi friends, here we are at Bee Bear Book Club where we can hear stories together. My name is Andrea and I'm here with some of my friends to read a story today. Won't you stay and hear a story too? You ready for the chant? You ready? Bee Bear Book Club has begun. We think books are lots of fun. Books tell stories, books tell news, information you can use. Books are fun for you and me. Be Bear Book Club, come and see. Books can tell us so many different things. Let's take a look at the story we're going to read today. The name of our story today is called Corduroy, and Corduroy was written by a man named Don Freeman. Don Freeman wrote the words. He's known as the, the author. And in this story, Don Freeman also drew the pictures, and he's called the illustrator. Let's take a look. Who can tell me, what do you think this story's about? It's about, you're right, you're noticing something. Can anybody tell me what's the problem? He, he looks like he lost his button. This little bear lost his button. And, let's find and, out. And his button right on the bed. It does. It looks like it's right on the bed. So let's find out what happens in this story. Are you ready? I'm not going to see. Okay, here we go. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. Oh. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him. Home. Why? Why do you think he wanted somebody to take him home? Oh, there's one. Maybe he was lonely. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. He's wearing overalls. Overalls are pants that have a strap that goes over your shoulder. Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, Mommy, she said, look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I've spent too much money already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost the button to one of his shoulder straps. So why doesn't Lisa's mommy want to buy the bear? Because it's yeah, missing a button. Maybe the girl will help you with the Okay. Maybe the girl will help. Maybe. Let's see. Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away. I didn't know I'd lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight, I will go and see if I can find it. No. 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 You don't think so? Let's see what he did. Oh. Late that evening when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed carefully down no, from his no. shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. Does anybody notice something? What's he, this? There's an escalator. It's an escalator. And what is an escalator? And it, it goes you up. It helps you go up. It's like stairs that move you up. You're right. But stairs don't move you up. Stairs don't, but escalators do. Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he had stepped onto an escalator and up he went. Could this be a mountain, he wondered. I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. That's not a mountain. It's not a mountain, but why does he think it's a mountain? Because it's going up. It's going up. It's taking him very high like a mountain. You're right. <gasps> he stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor, and there, before his eyes, was the most amazing sight. I what did he to... see? He saw a little... He, he saw a bed with a yeah, he saw beds and couches and sofas and lamps. What do we call all of that? It's called furniture. Furniture, you're right. He saw lots of furniture. So he saw an amazing sight of tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace, he thought. Why does he think it's a palace? Because it has a, a lot of things. It has a lot of things, a palace, like a castle. Corduroy gasped. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. Let's take a 
He wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And up he crawled and onto he, the log. And he saw his button. You're right, he climbed onto the large, thick mattress. And all at once he saw something. You were right. Small, something small he's, he's and round. He is pulling it. Why, here's my button, he cried. And he tried to pick it up. But like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. What do you think he's going to do? Pull it off. You think he'll pull it off? But that's, that's, not, that's not his. Let's see. You don't think it's his? Let's see what happens. It's not his. Chris. He yanked and pulled and with both paws until pop! Off came the button and Chris. off the mattress corduroy toppled. What does toppled mean? He, right, he fell. He fell off the mattress. Oh, and look what's happening. What's he's he doing? He's landing on the, on, the, on the lamp. He's landing on the lamp. Boing! Into the tall floor lamp. Over it fell with a crash. Damn! Yeah. Oh, who's coming now? Police. It looks like the police. Cordery didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman was going his rounds on the floor above. When he heard the crash, he came dashing down the escalator. Did he come down the escalator quickly or slowly? Quickly. Quickly. Dashing means quickly. And what is he holding? A like, and I have a flashlight, but, but mine's yellow. You have a flashlight and yours is yellow. Why is he using mine's a flashlight? Red, because he wants to see which, who, which, 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 which bear crashed it all of the things. You're right. He wants to find out what made that loud noise. You're right. Now, who in the world did that? He exclaimed. Somebody must be hiding around here. Let's see. Oh, he flashed his lights under and over, sofas and beds, until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from the cover. Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? The watchman tucked Corduroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator. The escalator Why right. Is he and mad? Said, yeah, he looks mad, but do you think he's mad? He was no, surprised. He's tired. Yeah, he might be tired. And he set him on the shelf in the toy department with the other animals and dolls. I think he's tired. You think he might be tired? Corduroy was just waking up. I think you were right. And when the first customer came into the store in the morning, and there, looking at him with a wide, warm smile, was the same little girl he had seen only the day before. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night, I counted what I'd saved in my piggy bank, and my mother said I could bring you home. What? Yeah. Away. Shall I put him in a box for you, the sales lady asked. Oh, no, thank you, Lisa answered, and she carried Corduroy home in her arms. She ran all the way up four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and straight into her room. Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers, and alongside a girl-sized bed stood a little bed just right size for him. Whose bed do you think that is? Corduroy. Do you think it might be his bed? The room was small and nothing like the enormous palace in the department store. This must be home, he said. I know I've always wanted a home. Lisa sat down with Corduroy on her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. What is she using to sew? Do you know what that's called? No. It's called a needle. She's using a needle to we sew the one. button. We don't have one. I like you the way you are, she said, but you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Please. Me too, said Lisa, and gave him a big hug. hug. How Please. is Corduroy feeling at the end? Happy. You're right. Please. The end. This story told us about a little bear and his friend Lisa. I'm wondering who can remember, where did Corduroy live? At the toy store. At the, at the, the toy store or the department store, right? And what was the problem? 
He lost his button. He lost his button. So right. I think something take it. Maybe something. Right. And how did he try to solve the problem? Um, he, by, oh, he just by, went up by, by the girl gave him a box. Okay, that's how it, he solved the problem. The little girl brought him home and she sewed his button. But, but he thought that was a button, but he crashed it over. You're right. He noticed that there was a button on top of a mattress and he thought it was his. You're right. Good job. So that's the end of our story for today. Yes. And Be Bear Book Club is all done. Thanks for coming. We had fun. Books have stories, big and small. Listen, you may love them all. Come again another day. Be Bear Book Club. Hip hooray. Bye bye. What a great story. I'm wondering if you can think about a department store that's near your family. Or maybe you can think about a toy that needs to be fixed in your house. I wonder how you do it. You can talk to your family and think of some different ways to do that. Thanks for watching Bee Bear Book Club. Please join us again another time.